hope your day is going wonderful. I'm so glad you're joining me. Today I'm super excited to share a project with you. We're using some new items that arrived over at the Pink Fresh Studio shop. I think you're going to fall in love with them. These are brand new press plates that can be used with the Spellbinders Better Press system. So we are going to be better pressing today. My project today is for a blog hop celebrating the brand new Better Press release from Pink Fresh Studio. So I hope you can join us. There's a giveaway that goes with it and um, lots and lots of inspiration. So I'll leave a link downstairs in the description area if you want to check it out. The products that I'm going to be using today, they're all press plates and then there is coordinating die sets. I'm going to be using this press plate. It's called the Floral Round Frame. We're going to be using the medallion border and then we're also going to be using the favorite thing sentiments press plate um, and I mentioned before that we're going to be using all the coordinating dies to go with it. So let's go ahead and bring in some cardstock. The cardstock that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using the Spellbinders Better Press Cotton Card Panels. This is, they have three different colors. This is the porcelain, and I'm just gonna take one sheet. I will trim them down into an A2 panel size. And I'm gonna bring in my Better Press. I have my Better Press here. I'm gonna remove the top plate. We're gonna flip it over, and we are gonna tack down right in the middle some of our cotton card panels. And I'm just going to take some tape and we will lightly tack the corners here. I went ahead and placed my floral round frame on my Better Press platform along with my greeting from the Favorite Things Sentiments. I'm going to use the thank you. and. You can use the Better Press inks for this, but I'm going to be using Pink Fresh Studios ink pads. They Better Press beautifully, and I love that you can use different colors. I'm using Storm for my card today, and I'm just going to add some ink over the top of my press plate, doing a little shimmy with it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take our top platform place it right over. I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine and we're going to run this through. Okay. Are you ready to see the beautiful and stunning results? Look how gorgeous this is. Next, we're going to take our medallion border, and I want to create two borders, so we have to do this one, one at a time, but no worries. I'm going to go ahead and ink this up, but this time we're going to be using the Pink Fresh Studio Coral Reef ink. And we're going to add some ink to this border, which is very beautiful. Do a little shibby with it. And then I'm going to go ahead and run this through my Platinum 6. How beautiful is this? Now rather than removing this, what I'm going to do is just flip over my paper. We're going to tack this down. I'm going to ink this up one more time and we'll create another border. Go ahead and add this. And those are our borders. Okay, so we have so we have two panels, and then we're gonna use the coordinating dies and die cut these out. But I want to mention 
that alcohol if you use your pink fresh studio ink these are dye based inks they better press beautifully but the nice thing is they clean up really nice too I'm using some alcohol spray and then watch how easy this just wipes up it cleans the plates beautifully and it cleans your platform beautifully too so that's a bonus when using Pink Fresh Studio inks. Let's put this off to the side. Instead of using Storm for my greeting, my thank you, I wanted it to be a little bit more bold. So we're going to do a redo. I put my thank you press plate back on my better press. We're going to use Pink Fresh Studio Detail Black ink. And I'm going to go over my greeting with my Detail Black. And then we're going to go ahead and better press this. So we have our die cut better press images and I did put the foam behind my greeting so we have a little dimension to our thank you. We're going to put the borders and our greeting off to the side and then I'm going to color in this with my Copic markers. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I will play a little bit of music while I color and when I'm done coloring I will get you back. coloring is all done and now we're going to go ahead and do a little bit more die cutting um, I'm bringing in the pink fresh studio using a piece of vellum I'm going to cut out the background of the pink fresh studio spiral circle and then I'm also going to be die cutting out the spiral circle. We're just not going to put the inside here. Okay. And then I'm going to be using my essential stitched rectangles. I'm going to use the largest one and I'm going to bring in some pattern paper. I'm using the Pink Fresh Studio Sunshine on My Mind paper pad and I'm looking at this soft blue pattern paper. And I'm going to cut this out as well. So I have my spiral circle cut out, my pattern paper. Now I'm going to take a piece of pale blue cardstock. We're going to add this directly to an A2 card base. So I went ahead and adhered my panel. Next I'll adhere my pattern paper to the front just using some adhesive. Place this in the center. We have our beautiful borders. I'm going to place some adhesive behind here and we're going to tack these two down. I went ahead and tacked my vellum behind my spiral circle and this is going to go right down the center. Let's go ahead and adhere this. I 
I'm going to flip this over. We're going to put some foam squares behind here. We're going to add our floral round frame right in the middle, giving it a little bit of dimension. I'm going to add some glue behind my thank you. And then using the new Pink Fresh Studio tweezers, we're going to add this right in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and add glue to all the berries that are on my round, my floral round frame. And using the Pink Fresh Studio Clear Drops, these are the iridescent. We're going to go ahead and fill in those berries with the iridescent dew drops. Lovely. And then that will finish off my card project today. I hope you get to join us for the Pink Fresh Studio Better Press blog hop celebrating this brand new release. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day and we will see you again real soon. Bye bye.